Hey everyone, thanks for watching Test 2 Plus today. I'm Trace. Welcome to episode two of five of our psychedelic series. And now that we know where drugs have come from, that was last episode, so make sure you watch that one, what happens when we put them into our bodies? That's kind of important. If you have never watched Test 2 Plus before, we talk about one topic for five episodes. This is episode two. Just a reminder, guys, we're talking about pretty heavy stuff, psychedelic drugs today. We're not condoning their use. We're just talking about them scientifically, as rationally as we can. So let's get started. What is a psychedelic drug? It's kind of a big deal. I and mean, it's kind of a broad question, right? A psychedelic drug is a very specific type of drug which alters your cognition, alters your perception. And what it does is it forces serotonin to stick around in your brain. And that serotonin affects you. It's a neurochemical that's in there all the time. It's part of the reason that you are happy is when serotonin is being released. And when there's a lot of it, you get really happy, which is what happens when you take a hallucinogen. Psychedelic drugs are psychological. They're not physical. So you can't necessarily outwardly see all of the results. That being said, they do have physical manifestations of their results, things like blood pressure and flushed faces. But it's not the same as, as some other things that you may be doing. No one has ever died from an overdose on mushrooms or LSD. Just to give you an example, overdoses are still possible, though. They require hospitalization because an overdose on something like this can mess with your brain forever. There's no fixing this. Acid hallucinations can cause disturbing flashbacks that show up in your conscious mind months or years later and perhaps for the rest of your life. This is a serious issue. Shrooms can result in panic attacks or acute psychological collapses. These are all things that have happened to people who have used these drugs. Now, not to say this happens all the time. It just can happen. And we are not condoning the use of any of these substances necessarily. We're just looking into them scientifically. A psychedelic drug evokes conscious awareness of subconscious thoughts and feelings. So essentially, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind can kind of talk to each other a little bit. You're going to surface repressed memories when using some of these drugs. You're going to see feelings about life circumstances, fantasies, or deep fears. You might experience things like synesthesia, where you'll hear colors or see sounds. It happens. This is also why it's important to be in a good place before you do any tripping, because if you start tripping and you're in a place that you don't feel safe or something difficult in terms of imagery pops up, it can really hit you hard, because it's almost like that imagery would have direct access to your subconscious mind, and that would be pretty dangerous if that imagery was really traumatic. So what experts say when it comes to doing a psychedelic drug is make sure that you have two things, the set and the setting. The set is the internal mental environment. That is up to you. You have to make sure that you are mentally ready to do something like this. The set is the beliefs of the person who has ingested the substance as well as their internal mental environment. The setting is the external environment, so where you are at that time. So maybe your friend's house or your own house, Burning Man perhaps, a club, but make sure that that place is somewhere you feel safe and supportive because if you don't feel safe and you aren't supported by others, it can be very dangerous to take a psychedelic drug just because you're not gonna have full control of your mental faculties. So here are the most common psychedelic drugs. Magic mushrooms, also known as the drug psilocybin. It's a chemical compound that's found inside of this specific species of mushroom fungi, and it creates this myriad of connections inside of the human brain. In brain scans, what happens is certain parts of the brain called hub structures become less engorged with blood, and because of that, closely linked brain areas become synchronized as the blood moves around elsewhere. This causes strong connections in parts of the brain that don't regularly communicate, so you end up with these really interesting feelings and sights and sounds. There's also mescaline, which is found in peyote, and that's the drug the Native Americans used during their religious ceremonies. And that's obtained from a small spineless cactus, the peyote cactus, and it's used by American and Mexican natives for the religious ceremonies, as we mentioned. And it causes vivid hallucinations and alteration of consciousness. LSD or acid is a well-known drug as well for hallucinogenics. Albert Hoffman invented it. He worked for Sandoz Laboratories in Sweden, and he invented it while researching ergot, which is a specific type of fungus. I don't know what it is about fungus, but apparently they know how to party, because this was lysergic acid diethylamide. I don't know how to say all of those things, but either way, LSD, 25. 
hundreds of thousands of times more powerful than mescaline or psilocybin, but a very similar idea. The acid is absorbed through the tissues and it creates these vivid hallucinogenic feelings. Basically, LSD is similar to serotonin, which is that drug that helps make you happy. It's a neurotransmitter, which many believe has to do with mood regulation. So the fact that LSD is similar, perhaps it's either stimulating more serotonin release or maybe keeping it from being reabsorbed. They're not really sure, but they know that when you have this in your body, it causes a hallucinogenic effect. There's also salvia, which is a Mexican mint plant, which is dried and then sometimes smoked or maybe made into a serum. And that causes hallucinations and motor function impairment. And uh, it messes with the visual cortex and the cerebellum. Literally, it just messes with what you're seeing and what you're able to do motor-wise. It's one of the most potent hallucinogens out there. And it's actually not illegal in some places because like I've mentioned already, it's really new and there aren't necessarily laws banning it. The interesting thing about salvia is how fast it works. It is in and out of your body in less than a half an hour. It's 10 times faster than cocaine. So when it hits the brain really, really fast, it produces this massive hallucinogenic experience. And then 15 minutes later, it's gone. And there's no trace of it. It's really weird. They're still studying how it works. There's also DMT, which is found in ayahuasca. That's from the Amazon. It's a plant-based uh, hallucinogen, it's usually also smoked, and that's another new one for the U.S., but tribes have used this in religious aids for centuries and also for medicine. Sometimes when you're talking to people about psychedelic drugs, you hear people say things like, our brain has receptors for these things. They're natural. We're supposed to have them in our body if we want to, I guess. But that's not really what's happening. If you were paying attention here today, then you know that it's not so much that the drugs are fitting into your brain, but they're causing serotonin to be released. And that serotonin, which is a natural part of your neurotransmission, is causing all sorts of crazy things to go on. It's essentially hacking your brain. And if you think about it, who would want to hack a brain? Probably the US military, which is why the government was experimenting with psychedelic drugs for a long time. And we're gonna talk about that in tomorrow's episode of Test Tube Plus. So make sure you subscribe so that you can come back and see that. And if you want to know more about how ancient cultures have used drugs, psychedelic ones and others, make sure you click here to see that video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any comments on psychedelic drugs and ones that maybe you know about that we didn't talk about, go down in the comments and explain them. Let's talk about it. Thanks for watching.